in mind, unless it's negative. He, his ability in, the last plat, in his last campaign was that he had his own platform. He could talk himself on Twitter, on Facebook. He could use those social media platforms to get his message to the people. If they were removed completely and mentioning his name was banned, how would he fight another election campaign? How could he? He couldn't. He, he certainly wouldn't win. So that should be a warning that they've done it to Alex Jones. They've done it to me. They've done it to Paul Joseph Watson. I've broke no laws. I've, broke, I've committed no crimes that have, 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 have resulted in this. It should be a warning to every American, every American watching, that they will do it to you. It's coming. This is big tech taking back control after watching the Donald Trump election, after watching the Brexit election. This is them taking back control completely, limiting what we can say, limiting who can hear from us. I had an election campaign where I had no ability to talk to the people. I had no ability to reach them. Every, every avenue I tried, they blocked. <laughs> well, you've been away from home on the campaign trail full tilt for so long, so I'm going to let you go. But I should say two things. You seem, other than the fact that you didn't win, you seem in good spirits. You seem in good shape. I remember when you got out of prison last year, they had roughed you up. You, you look fit. You look focused. I, I won't even say you look sad. I mean, you look defiant. and you, I, I mean, you're obviously not happy, but... You seem, of all the setbacks in your life, this doesn't seem to have pushed you back because you've achieved certain things. So let me ask the obvious question that I know so many of our viewers will say. What next? Um, prison on the 4th of July. <laughs> so this, this ain't the depressing bit. Um, I think that they've tried everything, they've attacked every way. For those who don't know, I'm, I'm in court on the 4th of July for the same conviction that I've already spent three months nearly on solitary confinement for speaking and giving public information outside the courtroom. The level of censorship in this country is unreal. I don't think the establishment would be happy till I'm dead and gone completely, so I can't make any noise. <clears throat> next is the next battle, it's the next fight. I've got three beautiful kids, you've just seen me FaceTiming them. Um, so I'll, I'll pick myself up uh, and I'll keep going. All right, mate. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. Congratulations on a good run. And uh, we look forward to, we'll be back in London, both Jessica o of our staff and I'll be here in London covering your trial on the 4th of July and the 5th of July. To your followers, to the people online, to me, I, everywhere I go, I feel like I've got an army behind me. 